everybody and welcome back, it's me, Shwebe! Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing you the This or That tag, which I was actually tagged from my good friend Grinch. I've known him for a very long time. If you guys are interested, I highly recommend you go check out his channel. Him and his wife Onyx do a lot of Let's Plays together, and every now and then he'll bring his kids in there and they are so cute. If you want to see one with his kid, um, he actually did a reaction to his youngest one listening to Markiplier's Space Song. It was so adorable. But anyway, so I've actually already done the this or that challenge before. I think it was like sometime last year. So I decided I want to do it again, but I'm going to make up my own questions. So there's 15 of them, and they are all gaming themes. Without any more rambling from yours truly, let's get started. Question 1. PlayStation or Xbox? Those of you know, I am a PlayStation queen. Can't you tell? PS4 covered with soundproofy crap. The PS3 is over there. I have two PS2s. I still have my PS1. Um, I did have an Xbox once in my life, like it was given to me from a friend, but I couldn't really figure it out. But it may have also been the games that were given to me. I was like, ugh, not really my thing, so I ended up giving it to somebody else, so. And PlayStation was my very first console, so I've just been dedicated to the, the franchise since then. Question two is PC or console? See, I would love to say PC, but I'm gonna have to say console because the consoles that I have can currently do way better graphics than my PC because my PC is so old. Um, I'm certain that dinosaurs are the ones that invented this and put it together. That's why it actually has been dubbed dinosaur. So as of right now, I must say console the whole way. Question number three, single player or multiplayer? Now me personally, I love playing single player games because I can just go at the game at my own pace. I don't feel like I'm rushed or anything. But I will admit, I do find a lot of enjoyment in doing the multiplayer games. But if you were to line up all the games that I own, um, like 95% of them are single player. So I'd have to go with that. Question four is open world or a set storyline? I kind of like both. But I'd say between the two, I really enjoy the open world aspect because that just means if I get, you know, a little too tired of doing the main storyline, I can just move on and do something else for a little bit. Um, kind of like Skyrim. Like, it's very rare that I ever complete the Dragonborn storyline. I think I've done it twice out of the hundreds of, you know, playthroughs of that particular game. I always go for, like, side quests and, like, build houses and go to Solstheim and do all that stuff. It it's weird. Question five is PvP, player versus player, or PvE, player versus environment. Me personally, I am a terrible, terrible PvPer because I get so salty and oftentimes, depending on the game, I suck. <laughs> so I like to play games that are more PvE because then if I get mad at it, I can always come back later and destroy it and the only person that still is salty is myself, but nobody else is butthurt about it. Question six is mouse and keyboard or controller? I suppose that would depend on the game. Like some games I feel like they would feel weird if you were to do it with a controller or with a mouse and keyboard. I would say, honestly, I really prefer the feel of the controller, specifically the PlayStation controller. Just, you know, obviously, I mean, I'm a PlayStation person, so what else is it gonna be? But uh, I just overall like how it feels in my hand. It doesn't like feel like it's too cramped. And unfortunately, with certain key bindings, I can really do some damage to my fingers, which I'm just like, ow, can I have a break, please? Question seven is FPS versus hack and slash. Mm. Between the two, I really enjoy hack and slash because ain't nothing more satisfying than a whoosh, whoosh. Though FPS, if you've got sniping, I'm all about the sniping. Because ain't nothing more satisfying in that kind of scenario where you are like a bazillion yards away and you just get them on the scope and pya, headshot. Though, if we're talking like any other gun, my accuracy is kind of like all over the place because I'm just used to taking a sword or a stick or something just smacking enemies in the face. I really enjoy that a bit more. I don't know. That's just me. Question 8 is first person or third person? Now... In my earlier gaming career, I would have told you third person because it felt very strange to try and play first person because I was like, it's not the same, the controls don't work that well. But recently, within like the last two, three years, I have absolutely fallen in love with first person because it's like you're in the game. It just gives you like that perspective, especially with horror games. Oh, 
I have absolutely fallen in love with horror games that are first person. So give me that first person because that does so much with the atmosphere in those games and I love it a lot. Question 9 is RPG or role playing game or JRPG which is a Japanese role playing game. Um. I would honestly say JRPG the whole way because my god do they come out with some of the amazing and bestest most fabulous games ever. Nino know, Kuni, Nino you know, Kuni 2, all the Final Fantasy games, all the Tales games, oh my god and just the characters, you always fall in love with them. I can't really say that for most RPGs that I have played but oof, give me them JRPGs. Oh and not to mention Persona, come on, Persona. Those characters, my god. Yes, JRPG. Question 10 is horror, or horror, versus rage games. Um, both I have a weird passion for, but I think I'd sooner play a horror game than I would a rage game because it takes way more out of me to play a rage game. That's why I'm sure a lot of you have asked, you know, how come I don't have more of like getting over it with Bennett Foddy on the channel? Um, because that makes me rage so hard that I have to go and take a breather for a while. And then I'm like, that's not really that healthy. But with the, like a horror game, at the end of it, I go, it's not real. But the rage with the rage games is always real and I can't break away from it. So. I would sooner do a horror game. Bring me weird chopped off head stuff and monsters coming after me sooner than having to play another rage game where I wind up with a headache afterwards. Question 11 is physical or a digital copy of the game? Me personally because I am like a collector but in a weird sense. Um, I prefer the physical copy over digital copy albeit I have tons of digital copies but if it's like a game that I have been waiting for like years to get a hold of give me that physical copy that way I could say yes I have it forever I realize you could do the same with a digital copy but anything can happen to your accounts and stuff like that and heaven forbid that does cuz all the money you spent on it's gone now can't really say that with a physical copy unless you break it or you didn't get the guarantee warranty thingy which I never do cuz I don't see the point in it question 12 is new versus used games now that really depends on the scenario. Like, if it's a game I've been waiting for years to get a hold of, like Persona 5, Nino Kuni 2, I want the new version of that because it's something that I know that I want. Even if it winds up being shite, I want it because I've been waiting so damn long. If it's a game that I, like, heard about on the fly or was, like, in the store and was like, well, that sounds like an interesting title, I want the used version because I don't want to wind up spending the full price for a new game and go, oh, that was a waste of like 60 bucks. Why Why did I bother doing that? So I suppose in the long run, because I don't really buy that very many new, it, I'd probably say used. Question 13 is close combat or ranged combat? Now this kind of depends on the game, I suppose, but if I had a choice, I would do ranged because I love playing the archery or the rangy type character. Uh, not that I'm not good at like the warrior based kind of characters, but I just kind of prefer just being halfway across the map and going swing and it getting them right in the center of their head. So satisfying. Question 14 is speakers or headphones? I suppose that would really depend on the game itself, but if I want to be like in the game, in the zone, nothing outside of my little bubble of gamingness to interfere with what I'm doing, headphones the whole way. These headphones that I have here are like they soundproof so much if Phoenix tries to get a hold of me he has to like tap on the floor or something or do something extraordinarily loud because um I spent 50 bucks on these a, a while back because I was like I want to be in the zone and for the final question question 15 is Sega or SNES now I never actually owned a Sega console I have played some Sega games which I thought they were very good now for SNES SNES was technically my first console that was given to me at a very young age. Not the first console that I ever played, but I have so much nostalgia with that. Like playing the Super Mario Bros. All-Stars, Mystic Quest. Ugh. And then I'd go over to my best friend's house and we played Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2. The Mortal Kombat on there where the graphics were terrible, but it was so cool to see the body parts flying around. So SNES the whole way, baby. And that's it for the this or that tag. Now this is actually a community builder. Ha! Bet you guys didn't know that. So the whole point of this is I'm going to be tagging people in my community to do this tag as well. I will be leaving my version of the questions down in the, in the description section below. 
wow it is late <laughs> but if you want to do the original questions which Grinch did I'll also be leaving those down in the description as well along with a link to his channel like I said go check him out the three peoples that I'm gonna be tagging in my community will be Aletha Lightning who does streams of Injustice 2 and uh, oh my god so many games actually he does Star Wars Battlefront if you guys love that he's also like this huge comic guy like has so much info on superheroes so if you guys like that stuff go check him out but lethal you have been tagged my dear uh directionally challenged who he just started playing god eater 2 which i've never seen this game or the first one it looks interesting he's played uh, the one piece game um he does a lot of funny skits so dc you've been tagged again go check out his channel i know you guys will find his commentary very funny and I'm also going to tag Meows. Um, Meows does a lot of variety of things on his channel. He plays Sims. He'll do like speed building things. He does Geometry Dash a heck of a lot better than I can. Like this kid can 100% them because he has the patience to do so. <laughs> he also streams every now and then. So again, go check out his channel. So that's who I have tagged. But if you guys want to go ahead and do this yourself, if I haven't tagged you, feel free. Just let me know when you've done it so I can check it out afterwards. So until the much rebels, thank you all so much for watching. If you loved it, don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing and joining Shrewy's Potty Place today. Let's hear the battle cries. Woo! Yeah! And I'll see you guys in the next episode.